Yeah, they're only 11 now. But yeah, look. And basically, with this, <laughs> look at how much damage. It does a lot and lots of damage. Okay guys, so the reason why there are cuts in this video is because um, there's this weird thing whenever I record with my phone on the TV and then I record my audio on my microphone, they don't sync and then I have to resync them every once in a while so there are cuts in this just so you know and I said I wasn't going to but I had to in order for them to sync. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Bye! What is up guys and welcome back to another Skyrim video and today I'm going to show you guys something that um, I should have showed you quite a long or quite a bit ago I mean it's been taking me a while to um, get this stuff because um, this is um, a glitch where you can do a restoration pot glitch and you can get basically over 1 million damage maybe sometimes um, leveled items or um, armor and it's like super OP, it's like actually insane, but um, in order to show you this, I'm going to start from the beginning of what, um, I'd say is the beginning of it, so um, first of all, you gotta get into Dragon's Age, and I'm going to leave this uncut so that you guys can see that this is not uh, like photoshopped or anything, it's legitimately a thing, and first of all, um, as you guys can see, I'm level 8 right now. And so the things in order to do this glitch, you need to have at least um, three out of five on Alchemist. Um, you need a physician, and you also need benefactor. These are the three things. And um, just for the sake of this video, I also have um, where is it? The enchanting um, up to level two, just because of it. And so basically, um, first things first is that we're gonna find um, the things that you need in order to do this glitch. Is you need to have um, three or four of these items. You need a ring, you need a necklace, and you also need an iron helmet and, um, iron gauntlets. So, I'm gonna trade with, um, my follower. And in order to get all these items, I just did a bunch of secret chests and stuff, which I can show you guys those in another, in another video if you guys want me to, because I will gladly do that. But I need that necklace back. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, um, <clears throat> enchant these items by drinking two of these potions. I have um, two enchanter's potions, so I'm going to use this and the fortify enchanting and the other one to enchant the fortify alchemy thing on that. So now I have um, that leveled up. I'm gonna go ahead and spend those, and I'm gonna go to my. I'm either gonna save this, or if I can level up my alchemy a little bit more, I will. I don't think I can though. Yeah, I can't. But um, so now we have these items that um, give us. Um, potions upgraded so now our potions can be upgraded more and they're powerful um but uh yeah now i just we're gonna go to arcadia's cauldron because that's the place that i usually did the glitch but um once we get there we're gonna start the glitch but i'm gonna leave this uncut for you guys so but um so guys how has it been um sorry the lack of uploads i have been very busy and skyrim has i just had to think of some other ideas for videos but um i'm back and i hopefully i can upload more i just got red dead redemption 2 so i might stream that or record it for you guys if you guys want me to and i also have um the new season of fortnite which i will definitely be streaming soon um and yeah and thank you guys for um the other skyrim video that i uploaded it was the um 
It was the how to duplicate any item in Skyrim that got 74 views. Thank you so much. That was actually the best. Um, and um, if you guys haven't already, go and subscribe to my other channel, my main channel, which is my Minecraft channel. We almost have 100 subscribers, so go ahead and do that. And hit a like on this video if you guys want to see more of these tutorials on how to do glitches and stuff. So basically, in order to do this glitch, we have to... Um, use these certain items. I'm gonna give these other items to my follower because I really don't want to keep them on me so that I use different ones. But let's see. Ingredients. So we don't need these. We don't need the giant toes, but these are for later on in the video. So we need these two or three items. We need salt pile and we need um, these long fins and then we need a spade tail. Um, in order to make a um, rest, rest, restor, restoration pot. So look, whenever I create this, it makes a fortify restoration. And that's what we need. We need that in order to um, start the glitch. So basically, what you have to do is you have to take off all of your armor. And then put on the potion. So the potion is this one. And look, now all restoration spells are 56% stronger for 60 seconds. So now when I put that on, it makes these 17 so now there are all 17. Now we go make another one. And then it upgrades that even more. So now they're 101% stronger. Now we're going to take off the armor again. Like this. And this is an easy way to make money as well. So 41% uh, stronger. Now they're 22% stronger. And now when we go do it again, I get 147. And now whenever I do it again, I should get up to a super duper 27 yeah so now and then basically we just do this over and over and over again until and I'm showing you how to get like super high level stuff and like smithing and things like that and it's like really good so now it's 200% stronger so now I get 33% just keep doing it and I have tons of these so if I need to get more then I will but um so now they have 270. And in general, it's just going to constantly keep going until we get even um, higher. So now you have 377. And look, I'm already at level 43 on this. And it, this is a really quick way to also level up your um, alchemy. Ooh, no, I did not need to do that. No. So now it's 52% stronger. And we're just going to constantly keep doing this until we level it up. Or until we... Oh, I did this wrong. My bad. Okay. It's fine. I haven't done this in forever. Now, 874%. Look at this, guys. 874. And I'm doing this on a different account than my main because I'm just showing you the glitch. It's just... I'm not, like, actually, like, making this in a... Unless you want to see me with all these weapons going through the full game and basically beating every single thing. But I don't feel like... So now it's 2007%. And these are the only items that you can enchant to do Fortify Alchemy, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. So now look. 8,000. Look. Look at this. 8,000. And now look. We have 935%. 935%. And now look, so, look at that. And now look, I leveled up, so now I can go to my alchemy. And now I can upgrade it whenever I get to 60, never mind. But, sorry, I did that wrong. So now, if I go to, if I go to my magic and it says, yeah. Mm, 48 seconds, okay. So, Look, oh my gosh, it's just so much. I kind of, I'm kind of messing up on this because I don't, and the way that I got all these, um, things is, look, it's, I went up to 78 on alchemy. It's awesome. I leveled up like four times. I, I leveled up seven times. So now if I want to, I can go up to here and I can wait till I get to this. I can literally just upgrade my whole entire skill tree. But, um, 
Now, whenever, but if once it gets into the negatives, we don't want to use those because those will kind of kill us. So look, look at how much that is. And look at how much it's worth, too. It's worth two, or what is that? 217,226. That's a lot, guys. And now look at how big our, or how much our things do. Just look at that. And then I'm going to make a smithing potion soon. Look, I'm up to 100 on alchemy already. And I could legendary the skill, but I don't want to. Just specifically because it's like I can't do the glitch if I do it. But now I'm going to go to my... I'm going to use the rest of them on my smithing so that I can do that. But I'll, I have to make a smithing potion first. Okay. I made two on accident. Okay, so look, just look at this. So look, this I messed up. So I need to reload, but that's basically what happens: is you just constantly, constantly do it, and then eventually you'll get up there, like I did. And then once we do that, we can go and make a smithing potion. Hold on. Which one is it? It's this person. Oh, there's there's vampires here. Screw it. Um. Um. I believe that this is the place. There's vampires, and I don't want to deal with vampires right now, cause I don't have the time. Yeah, the hacks cure. I cannot wait because there are people here. Okay, well, there you go. We're gonna wait till nine, I guess. Oh okay. yeah. So now we're gonna go and talk to Bofila. No, I'm not an alchemist. Why does everyone say that? Gosh, glowing mushroom. Tell me that you have spirits up. You do not. Okay, well, I can make one smithing potion with this. I'm gonna use this, if you don't mind, madam. So look, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna use salt pile. Okay, now time to do the glitch. Again, for the second time, because I messed up last time. So yeah, take off everything. I'm gonna save... Whenever I get, I think I'm gonna save right now. Yeah, I'm gonna save because I don't want to lose my data and have to redo the glitch again. And I will keep one save probably for this if you guys do want to see one of the videos of me like just going constantly and doing it because I think it'd be fun just going around Skyrim like killing everyone or killing like dragons in one hit I screwed up again salt pile so come on, fortify restoration I think it's because alchemy is a restoration spell, and that causes it to do that. Don't tell me I'm doing something wrong. There you go, now it's going up. And the whole point is so that you can get OP items, but um, the reason why I have every single one of these um, things like the silver ring and stuff is because that way I get the most out of it and the most out of each potion that I make so that way I don't have to make constant other potions and stuff. So now we're doing up to 200, okay. I think once we get to a certain one, I'll stop.
now we should be almost we should be at 500 or 200 okay this takes a long time but it's worth it in the end okay Forty two percent and now we're going up to possibly fifty five percent. Sweet. We're getting there. So now these are worth seven hundred and thirty three. So now whenever I get another one. Should be up to 81, okay, nice. This is whenever it starts to skyrocket. Oof. Mm hmm. When we get to negative potions, that's when we stop drinking them. Okay, we have 146. I upgrade. My alchemy cannot. Can we take off all of our armor? Let's not forget that. Sweet. 399. We're getting there. Should be like one more after this, and then we have it. This, this should be the last one. Okay, never mind. I can do one more. Okay. Let's see. We're going to save right here because I don't want to mess this up and then have to redo it. Okay. This should be the last one, because this is worth tons. So now. Yep. This should be the last one. We're going to stop here. Yeah, because now they're in the negatives. So if we drink this potion, then I will basically lose everything. So now if we go ahead and go to the potion, look, it sells for 74000 It's just insane. And now my speech is all the way up to 100 Oh, that's insane. It's actually insane. And now look, I'm like level 1 million. I can literally... I'm literally like level 100 now. now yeah so now we're gonna do an enchantment potion so that should be or not enchantment a smithing potion yes and now I'm gonna make a one of these look look at how much money that is that sells for so much so we're going to save here as well. Okay. So now we're going to go to the smith and we're going to I'm going to see if I can fix up my bow or something cuz I have a lots of stuff. And if this does work cuz it usually I think it pretty much makes you like level a super high level so I should I wish I could make another smithing potion but I can't so so now this is the armor that we have okay so now if we go down here we'll just take this vampire sword just for the sake of it 
and the smith is right up here, like past him. Okay. So we're gonna ask. We're gonna see what um I need to upgrade the armor. I need steel and iron. Mm, just steel. And then where's the grindstone? Okay, the forge. If I were to me, yeah, yeah, I need the forge. I need the grindstone. Where's the grindstone? There it is. Okay. So in order to upgrade my bow, I need leather strips, and then I need steel ingots. I need money. Or I need the stuff. Okay, there are sale. I'm pretty sure I need steel. Steel's the big thing. So where's the steel ingots? Leather strips will take like a few of those. We'll take steel ingots. Okay, is that right? Let's see. Cause if yeah. Okay, so now when we drink this potion, let's see how long it lasts. It lasts, gosh, that's so much. It lasts for 30 seconds, okay. So now look. It's better whenever you have um, enchanted items, but I don't, so... Look at how much damage. It does a lot and lots of damage. So now, if I do this and I level up, we're just gonna do that. Come on, go to smithing. So now, if we do this with the smithing, I'm literally maxed on smithing, or I'm on 80. So if I ask, where is she? There she is. I need some steel. We'll take those leather strips. Wait, do you have a dagger for me? Maybe. We'll take... Do you have any elven? See, she doesn't have any of the stuff that I need, so... We're gonna go make... We're gonna wait outside for a second, and we're gonna... We're gonna get another glowing mushroom, hopefully, and then we're going to make another smithing potion. Cause I'm pretty sure that if I'm correct, then the potion does not wear out for the armor. It should. So now if I go to my, yeah, they're only the eleven now. But yeah, look, and basically with this, it deals tons and tons of damage. I'm gonna save, do a new save. I could show you guys how to do, to uh, basically what you do is you make an enchantment potion with the restoration glitch and you make a smithing potion and then you get you um enchant an item look I, I and I can't die I basically cannot die look at how insane this is my boots should just protect me hold up we're gonna Upgrade my 
archery. Okay, where are some people? Look, I take no damage. Never mind, I take quite a bit of damage. Oh my god, this is so OP. I one shot everything. I should go fight a dragon after this. Let's run away. This is dead. I don't have any weapons. Other than this bow. It's kind of sad. I literally have way too much. So how much gold do I have? I have 514. We're going to go to different reaches and we're just going to slaughter people. Okay? Okay. I already have a bounty, so it's fine. So we're just going to steal a horse and we're just going to go off and do whatever. But yeah, this, this is like a, just a super OP glitch and like it's really not hard to do. It just takes the time of actually getting the items like the um, um, fish and the salt piles. It's a new person. That's not the person that I had last time. Wait, hold on. Come here. Hey. Screw you. Come on. Let's go. This was just a quick um, glitch on how to and I'm just going to show you the part probably after. I'll show you in a different video. How about that? A different video, I'll show you how to get the, like, max items. But right now, we're just going to go around killing people with this. Or how to get, like, super high-leveled items and basically be invincible in the game. I'll show you that. Next time. But we're just going to go around and kill just a bunch of people. Because I have nothing else to do for the rest of this video. You guys get to see a slaughter fest. How about that? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, um, after this video, I'm going to go back to my original save, and I'm going to kill, or I'm going to, um, do the restoration glitch next time. But right now, we're just going to slaughter some people. <laughs> Everybody's a one-shot. Bye. I want to know. I want to know how much of a bounty I can get, or how much of a bounty I have would be awesome. I'm down to 1,000 now. Let's go. Run away. We'll do White Run last because White Run, right, White Run, right, I cannot speak. White Run is a big place, so we'll do that one last. Right now we're going to go to Fall Crease, and then after that we'll go to, um, someplace else. But we're going to go to White, we're going to go to Dawnstar after Fall Crease probably. And then, we're going to go to, um, Windhelm, and then we're going to go to Morthal. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Because right now I have a huge bounty. I just love how much this bow does. It does so much damage. But yeah, like, like, I said, like I said, I'll show you next video on how to do that. So we're going to go to Fall Crease. I'm in combat? With who? Oh, they're hive dogs. Okay, just deal no damage. It's fine. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I cannot see from all the way back here. I'm gonna have to stop by some. Stop. I don't want to talk to you. Kill the dude. The other thug. Okay. And now. And I really want to go and try and kill a dragon, maybe? With this? But I'm gonna, um, next video that I do, I'll probably show you guys how to get literally 1 million damage on a weapon. Right now I have basically a thousand. So yeah, I'll show you guys that next video. But right now we're just fooling around with this stuff. I do not see a dog and I don't care about a dog. No. <laughs> so much damage. There's no witnesses. Bye. Come on, come at me, bro. Ooh, that's nice though. Okay, you have a thousand bounty, we're gonna leave. I'm trying to get this challenge where I have to have a thousand bounty on in here. So I'm gonna leave my car or fall crease, my bad. Come on. I should just make a series where I just kill everyone in Skyrim. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Okay, I just spun out of control just then. Okay, I can travel now. So now we're gonna travel to... Morsal. Gosh, this is so much to do, but it's fun. I'm, see, I'm level 30. You can basically get to level 100 with this glitch. Just gotta make sure that you don't... die, otherwise you basically lose everything. Okay, do you have arrows? Maybe? Do not. Wait, actually, you have an iron arrow. That was the one I shot you with. There we go. 1,000 bounty, that's what we needed. But I wonder, does this deal a lot of damage? Yes. Now 
already run away. Specifically because I want to do this. So, yeah. Okay. Reverend the Marker leaves. There you go. I need more arrows. So, I'm just gonna. Okay. How much of a bounty do I have? Okay, I have. I have 1,000. Bye bye. We will leave now. Bye bye. Heavy armor has increased. Ooh, can I level up my heavy armor? I kill. All the guards in one shot. I kill everyone in one shot. It's amazing. Okay, so now I think we have three. We have four more, I think. So we have to hope that. And then the last place is not that far. Go ahead and shoot you. I don't care about you. I don't care about you. And now I run. Bring them over here and I'll snipe them. I want to see them. I see them. Can I, can I please hit someone? I need your arrows. It's basically a bow only challenge. Come on. Okay, so now I need to go to... White Run. Or not. Oh, there's a wolf. I really do not want to hit Sandriel. But I won't. Because I'm that good. It's just too OP. I almost shot, shot Sandriel. Come on, I know you want to kill me. I really don't want to kill the... Yeah. We want to go to Solitude. Come on, let's go. We're leaving. Bye-bye. We're not coming back ever. See ya. See ya. Okay, this is almost an hour-long video. Yay. Definitely fun. This will be a fun edit, to be honest. Solitude and then we're done. And then we've done this, and then we can do a whole video where I kill everyone in Skyrim. We got to be sneaky. They'll never suspect us. Yeah. Where's the chicken? I'm gonna kill a chicken. Oh crap, it scared me. Bye. Bye. We're just way too good at this. And now, just imagine being dark by the head quest line. Just imagine. That'd be so fun. So now if I check my... If I check my, um, stats, I should have, um, a bounty in all the holes except for white run. Let's check it. Hmm. Crime. <laughs> I have a bounty in everywhere except for white run, I'm pretty sure. So we'll see how this goes. Bye. I have a bounty in every hold. Can't see. I'm unstoppable. He's still praying. Now he's not, because he's dead. Master criminal boys. Let's go. I'm a master criminal. Nothing can stop me. You can die. You can die. You stole all my sweet rolls, so you can die. Um, you tried to kill me that one time, so you can die. I just stole arrows. I, 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 what the? I need arrows. Quickly. Oi. You can die. You can die. You can die. <laughs> it's too fun. Everyone steals my sweet rolls. Well, guys, if you guys like this video, hit the like button and subscribe and all that fun stuff. 
Um, go to my main channel and subscribe, please, because we're almost to 100 subscribers, and I really want to get there before. But, um, yeah, if you guys want to see a video where I do smithing, and I literally level thing everything that I have in my inventory up to, like, super high level, I'll gladly do that. Just, you know, subscribe and like the video and comment down that you want to see it, because I would gladly watch it and do it. Or, not watch it, but I would gladly do it, because it's something that's very fun to do. I guess you'll see me in the next video. Hopefully I'll be streaming Fortnite or something. But, um, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys later. Um, let's end this off by killing, um, Mr. Yarl. The Yarl. There you go. Bye.